Good work, let's go on ahead with the action now into our fourth contest of the evening. Adrian King and Andrea Peschke. Heavyweight division. Please welcome our first boxers to the ring making their way to the red corner from Rome, Italy. Andrea Sundapeste. Well, he's boxed all over Europe, the 39 year old Andrea Thunder. Peschke fought in Vienna in January and the Italian will look to give the man in the opposite corner who's 20 years younger a few lessons this evening. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one this. Adrian King is the man in the opposite and corner. Well, he's not wasting any time to get into the ring. He goes by the alias, the next, and at just 19 years old, his coach, former British champion Curtis Woodhouse, believes that Adrian King has what it takes to become a heavyweight world champion. He's early in that journey, made his debut in November. He'll look to improve and build on Ladies that tonight in Sheffield. Mr. Dennis Hobson, full fight academy. Introducing first and boxing out of the red corner, wearing the black shorts. On the scales, he weighed in 18 stone and 3 pounds. This evening, taking part in his 36th contest as a professional. Just 19 years old, Adrian King, Jamaican born, but he's uh, a Yorkshireman now and uh, made his debut in November. Got a points win as he starts really explosively. He's in the red shorts, King fighting out of the blue corner. Peschke in the black shorts fighting out of the red corner. He's wasted no time in setting about his man, Adrian King. Last time out, he fought a man who was at 22 stone. There was a huge difference between the two, so he's used to being in with heavier fighters. And Spencer, that was uh, presumably part of the plan, was to get straight to work here and put it on him. And he certainly did that. Uh, Big shots landed already in the opening stages of yep, this first round. Absolutely no thought process here from Adrian King. He's gone out, he's held the centre of the ring, and he wants to get an early victory here. You can tell that he's got... Good leverage on that right hand, good body shot going in from King there as well and Petsky under immense pressure here in this opening round. Well Curtis Woodhouse, his uh, coach, former British light welterweight champion, has got big hopes and ambitions for the young man. He's, uh, he's really happy with his debut, he believes he's got huge potential. He's been uh, 
He's been getting around it. He's got really limited amateur experience, Spencer, just three fights. So they know it's been crucial to get him as round as many gyms as possible to get that sparring under his belt. And you can see already between his debut and now the difference those rounds have made. Yeah, absolutely. More control, more thought process into what he's doing. Lovely uppercut went in there from King as well. Pesky in trouble here on the ropes. Left hook goes in as well. Body shot as well. And this is good stuff here from King. He's just showing good patience, good variety. And that work going around the gyms, picking up that experience. Experience. Fabio Wardley, the British champion, who just had that great fight with Fraser Clark. He comes from that sort of background, limited experience on the white collar scene, no even amateur experience, learnt his trade on the job, and King looks like he has that sort of ability, definitely. Yeah, lovely work from Adrian King. He, he has had sparring up in Glasgow with uh, the Glasgow warrior, Nick Campbell. And last time out, as I say, he fought someone six stone heavier, so... He's, uh, he's had to make adjustments and I have to mention this jab, Spencer, because we've got the vantage point from ringside and you can feel every blow and that jab has some power behind it and I know he's an avid fan of Lennox Lewis, he watches him a lot and works on it and he's, he's always been impressed by his jab. That is a wonderful jab that he's got, nice stiff jab. Yeah, it certainly is. And it setting sets everything every up for him. Exactly what I was going to say, setting everything up. And he's working the right up to cut off the jab as well, which is a tricky combination to throw that. He's struggling you know. to get his head off the central axis, Pesky, as well, because he's landing that jab every time. He's got the height and reach advantage. He's using that jab so effectively. And you can, he'll be able to feel some of those in his toes, Spencer, because you can feel them from here as he, as he uh, catches Pesky with that that lead hook and I think this is going to be a tough few rounds for the Italian. Well listen, Pesky would do well to see the final belt if the next three rounds are anything to go by. That was a great round there from Adrian King. No feeling out process there. He went straight out, worked behind that jab that you was talking about Stacey. Found the range with that jab. Let's take a look at some of the action. Pesky on the ropes and this was pretty much the story of that first round. Pesky covering up and King trying to expose him and trying really to get through those openings well spencer isn't it it's it's deliberate it's intentional and he's he's doing really well even when he gets him up against the ropes he doesn't smother his own work he doesn't fall in he keeps it at range because he knows that's his his best attribute isn't it to keep it at range there's no need to go in any closer and take that space which is good intelligent ringmanship as well absolutely listen for a fighter, if he's controlling the space, a fighter that controls the space controls the fight. And King uses those attributes to his advantage from what I saw in that opening round. Good right hand, chopping right hand over the top there. Pesky took that well. And this is going to be a tough one, States, for Pesky to get through this one as King slams in another one too. Yeah, certainly be surprised, Spencer, if he uh, hears the final bell here, Pesky, as he takes another big shot the referee will be keeping a very very close eye on this one as another big backhand lands from king he works to the body now nice to see him changing up those shots and going to the body as well as he, he lovely work he really steps in well brings his feet with him for those one twos as well spencer yeah that was a big right oh, hand got in there big and pesky. Right hand, pesky hits the canvas he's doesn't look to be in great shape as the referee counts. He's stumbling to get back to his feet. He's unsteady and the ref makes the right decision, I believe, there, Spencer. And a really good finish from Adrian King as he goes back to his corner to Curtis Woodhouse. And what a story between these two. Curtis Woodhouse met Adrian when he was just 14 years old at school. He was asked to mentor a young man. That young man was Adrian King. He needed support and guidance. And goodness me, this is what boxing can do for young people, given the opportunity. It can change their lives. Listen, not just change lives, but it gives them hope. And there's that right hand that we saw. That was the one that done all the damage. That long right hand, followed by the short chopping right hand that we see there on the ropes. And bang, there it goes right in. Took the legs away from Pesky. Referee done a right job. The corner, to be fair, was up on the ring apron. He wanted it stopped as well. But Pesky in desperate trouble there. And both guys just having a chat which is great to see yeah, at nice the end to of the see contest Pesky on his feet he seems to be okay but totally agree with what you said there Spencer the initial backhand is what disoriented him and allowed Adrian King then to step in and follow up he as I say just 19 years old 
And, well, uh, certainly to keep you, your eye on. Absolutely. You told me about him before you come in, and the Curtis Woodhouse story is a great story. And I thought, you know what? That's what people get invested about. It is all about the story. But, yep, that was a brilliant win there from Adrian King. Curtis Woodhouse said he's a great fighter. Keep your eye on him. It was, it was big talk from Curtis. And um, Adrian King backed it up. What a victory. Great performance. Keep your eye on this kid. Yeah, really impressive again, given that he's only had three amateur bouts. So he hasn't got a huge amount of experience to draw on for that. He's, uh, what he isn't experienced in, though, is realising you have to wait for the referee to give the decision. I think Just about to make it. He must be eager to chat to me. Absolutely, Spencer, that's been. what I was going to say. But he's making his way back to the referee now as we get the official announcement for our MC, Robert Blundell. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a big round of applause for both of our boxers? Our referee, Michael Alexander, has stopped this contest after 53 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by TKO. with that performance, Spencer, and anyone who saw his debut will be impressed furthermore for the fact of the improvements that we saw there between, you know, in a short space of time, and you've got to imagine that all these rounds that he's been doing, sparring around different gyms, is making a difference. Absolutely, listen, what he underlined there is that he's got that natural talent, as you said, Stace, you know, he's one of those guys that's not been around the game for too long, his mate who was his mentor, Curtis Woodhouse, not a bad mentor to have, by the way, is, you know, guided him into the boxing ring, three amateur fights, then he goes over to the professional ring, and the marked improvement from the debut to the second contest was great. He showed great patience there, and when he got the opportunity, he executed the perfect game plan. So very impressive, and now, Stacey, you're over there with Adrian, and what's he got to say? Adrian, really impressive performance. How did you feel in there? Yeah, I felt, I felt good. I um, felt sharp. I mean, I put, I put in the work, so I knew it was going to be an explosive. I was going to feel explosive, and yeah, I felt good, yeah. It was a blistering start. From the very first few seconds, it looked like it was going to be a tough night for Pesky. But you didn't smother your work. You took your time. You kept it at range. I know that you've had limited amateur experience. You've been going around lots of different gyms. How has that helped you? Because we've seen massive improvements between November and your performance tonight. Yeah, definitely massive improvements. That's improvements in my, in my weight. Um, uh, shout out to the HPT um, for getting me physically fit and... Uh, uh, massive improvements there, definitely uh, sparring these top level people have definitely improved me from November to now and I will, uh, I believe I'll continue, will, I'll continue improving and continue doing my best. And a quick word from you Curtis, of course you've been there and done it, so a great mentor. It's a wonderful story between you two, how you went to mentor this young man and he needed a bit of guidance in life at the time and obviously look at what he's doing now, it shows what incredible things boxing can do for people's lives. But you've got real confidence in his ability and where he can go. Oh, absolutely. I've, I've told everyone, Adrian won the heavyweight champion of the world. I've got no doubts in my mind about it. I've never been more certain about anything in my life. Um, this kid's a special, special talent. But for someone who's done so little, like I said, he had two amateur fights. He's, uh, he's been inspiring Joseph Parker before the Deontay Wilder fight. And people are saying, you must be mad, you can't take him there. I'm like, trust me, this boy's ready. And today, you've just seen a little glimpse of what he's going to become. Well, it's obviously working, gaining that experience. You go by the alias, The Next. Uh, what is next for you? Um, I, I don't know, but hopefully I was... Um it's up to Curtis, really, but hopefully I was looking to uh, have a fight in the Caribbean. My, 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 my. Dennis Hobson, I know you're always uh, not short of a word or two. What's next for this young man? And what a performance tonight. I can learn a lot from you with a rabbit. Um, Curtis and me has been friends for a long, long, long time. And Curtis always said to me, Den Dennis, he says, I won't come to you unless I've got something special. And I think we've witnessed something a little bit special here tonight. He's raw. There's so much to build on, he's an amazing unit, his story is fantastic, 
Curtis knows what he's looking at, not just in football, but in the boxing game. He's done it. Every, he's done everything. He's unique as, an, as a human being himself. So if he thinks something special, I believe him. And without seeing him, I thought, I know I'm going to watch something a bit special. And honestly, I do think, as long as Curtis wants me in, involved, I will be absolutely thrilled to be involved, and I'll work all my bit of magic to get him up there and we will hopefully